What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes. After that disaster of a video that we had earlier, if you didn't check that one out, make sure you do. Uh, we now have an E5 Sigmund, somehow a C plus copy, but what we're going to be testing him out in is our guild altar. Now, we have been facing Sigmund as an enemy as well in the past. Uh, yesterday and the day before, we pretty much averaged between 7 and 10 uh, trillion damage I think that's what we're doing now seven to ten trillion damage with the Drake so I want to see what the difference is we're gonna do one with the Drake right now of course there is definitely some RNG involved in all of this um, but honestly like most of these heroes like we can actually come in here and we can actually change this over to shared fate on just about everybody to get even more attack on them because we just I mean it just really doesn't matter there's no way they're gonna die from these things so it should be pretty good we'll make sure we have the right artifacts on everybody Vesa yep yeah, you can go over to that as well uh, I think we're using armor break actually armor breaks kind of useless at this point if we have a Sigmund for us might go to holy damage i think that's going to be the winner here skill damage probably not i feel like holy damage might be a little bit better crit crit chance that sounds good we have literally a full tree going here she is very much maxed out uh yeah demon bells on everybody let's see how she does she's uh very powerful to say the least so let's jump into it let's see what our damage numbers are going to be we are now having a sigmund here so that is correct if he does counterattack, that's awesome what we can also now do i just forgot because we have a good burn hero in our lineup as well uh, we can come into the formation here we can change this back to the phoenix which is going to be the better offensive uh hero essentially we can activate her ability as well just in case we need it for some reason i highly doubt it but let's see what our damage numbers now go up to let's make sure also the lineup is performing in the correct order no matter what she's going first so it really doesn't matter for the first round it's never gonna happen i'm intrigued to see how much damage sigmund can do granted he doesn't have imprints because he's gold of a hero all that fun stuff but i'm wondering if he actually does decently here the one big difference is you'll notice there is no defense down on that front because obviously no drake but what we are doing is we're stacking up this armor stripping buff right there and because he should get an active every single round here there we go we got it up to three that's pretty much what we want it to be i don't know if it stacks to four does it I think it does yeah it actually is going to stack to four so that's like 120 percent armor reduction i think i think it's 30 percent each i know we just looked at it earlier today but i can't quite remember uh it's only going to be there for after he goes though and really after that it's just the heart watcher so it's going to stay at about 30 or th three stacks the entire battle interesting i wonder what our damage is going to look like though because again, we now have the Phoenix, which is the better monster in my opinion. Hard to tell. There's also gonna be RNG with who hit like the Heart Watcher hits, but I feel like this is gonna be a pretty good sign of who is the better hero. Because as you see with Vesa, every round Vesa attacks, she's hitting like a random target, mainly in the back row. And in normal circumstances, if you only have a Drake, I mean, they're at full armor, full everything. At least with the Sigmund, you're stripping the armor away from the back targets as well. So it can potentially help. Of course, this time we hit the front row a ton. It should be interesting, though. I, I have not tested this myself, so this is literally a first reaction to see what type of damage we can do here. It's looking pretty solid. The back row and the front row are all taking pretty much equal damage numbers from the looks of it. Right, three seven, three five, three seven, three five. Can we hit the back one? No. Hard to tell if they all have the same number of heart watcher stacks. By twelve though, I feel like most of them should. All right, there's the Phoenix active. Let's see this again. Two point three, two point three four. So the back rows are pretty much the same. Are we gonna hit the front row so I can judge this? Absolutely not. But see in this round here, yeah, they're all pretty much 
have the max heart watcher marks in the drake situation like the back row would be taking less damage but the front row would be taking a lot more i don't know is he back in the meta we'll have to see all right last round here three point not i mean it feels like it might be lower but it's really hard to tell here's the final results right here seven so still only doing that um a little bit disheartening there with the damage i was hoping it was going to be more but then again this is a very very old hero that was a better damage number that was nine let's do another hit with this same setup like i said there's going to be a lot of variability especially depending on who the phoenix hits as well so in the same ballpark and just to show you guys what the numbers are so you guys aren't just taking my word for it here we can drop you out and we can throw the drake back in um let's change you up we're gonna need uh demon bell for this to work properly everything else should be fine it's not like that big of a deal but then we also have to change back to the wolf and we probably want to also go back and change this back over to more armor break or damage i believe save that let's hit one hit with this setup just so you guys have like a benchmark to kind of compare it to uh, we got the drake in there now Mash that out. I think she hit that front line just a little bit more right there. <laughs> and really, the Drake's not really adding that much to it anyway. He's only doing 43 billion. I say only, but when you're talking about this big of a number, 43 is like this number right here would be zero. So is the Sigmund better? I probably am going to say no. Even though you're able to use the Phoenix... To have that burn buff which is just i mean when you look at the phoenix by itself where's the phoenix at phoenix is giving you essentially holy damage and crit damage which are very good versus the wolf which is giving uh precision and armor break i guess that armor break does help because when the round hits with the wolf and the sigmund then they are at 100 armor but there's one big difference here and i think that's the biggest part of this all sigmund is basically doing is reducing the armor down to pretty close to 100 and of course lowering the block down to pretty much nothing the difference is the defense down from the drake not only gets rid of 100 percent of armor but any additional damage reduction all damage reduction block and dodge that the enemy is going to have so it does seem like Drake might still be the pick. I was really hoping we would find some really cool thing out with a super old hero, someone that's like one of a lot of people's favorites. But let me know what you guys think. Maybe we'll do some more tests in the next uh, Flame Shrine that opens up. See what happens. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below which you prefer. I'll see you guys next time.